My name is Billy Ratner and I'm the wine director for the Xavier's Restaurant Group. I have known Peter and worked with Peter Kelly for the past 24 years, starting out as a waiter for him at the Freelance Cafe. We all know Peter is a great chef, but what you may not know is that Peter is an incredible gardener. Peter cultivates that kind of passion in people. You see it in his eyes when he greets you at the table, but you also see it uh, in, in the work that he does, uh, both in the kitchen, in the dining room, and in the greater community. As a self-taught chef, Peter learned um, by sitting in the dining room, sitting in a chair, um, eating all over New York, eating all over the world. And I think in his restaurants, you see, in a, in a, in a different vision uh, for each restaurant, you see the culinary world um, filtered through Peter Kelly's eyes. And I look forward to another 25 years together and whatever the next adventure is going to be. We, we gotta get started here. This is the Look, oldest one in the book. He's asking for you. Jeez, in the eye. Hey, pal. I better take that one. You take that one. Yeah, I got the one. So I'm gonna put this one. guy in. Wow, if you're squeamish, look away, folks. There's something about uh, the energy that he exudes that just screams, uh, you know, family and friendship, and, and that's the kind of guy he is. You kind of just want to hug him all the time. More importantly, I think in my career, Peter has been sort of a substantial uh, influence in just about every good move I've made. Um, and there's something to be said about that um, because he's not only that to me, but he's that to uh, his cooks. They end up tearing up, especially when it's something about him. So um, anyway, as long as any chef, any family member, any anybody who can be is fortunate to have Peter in their lives is uh, pretty damn lucky. And uh, I feel very special to be one of those people. Cheers. In mere moments, one Iron Chef will be pitted against our challenger. Today's challenger is the 10th child in a family of 12 kids who at the tender age of 23 opened a restaurant in the Hudson Valley region of New York. The chairman welcomes Chef Peter Xavier Kelly. I've been cooking restaurant style my whole life. And the winner is... Chef Kelly. My name is uh, Chef Jean-Georges. Uh, we have Jean-Georges restaurant here in uh, New York City. On, uh, I have a great admiration for uh, Peter Kelly. I mean, we've been friends uh, for over 20 years now. Um, we see him probably once a month in the city. Come with his family for lunch, dinner. Um, it's been, a, I think, a great aspiration for the, everybody in Westchester. I think um, Peter has contributed a lot to the restaurant scene. I mean, uh, he's been, uh, you know, Xavier at the 29 at Zagat's, the first of any anybody in the country. Peter is a uh, you know, we admire you. He really, he pushes, you know, he's always uh, curious about food. He always comes to our restaurants, to all our restaurants. We come to him, so he's, he's a big, big influence, I think, amongst, uh, you know, the chef's community in, uh, in America, for sure, on the world. I say congratulations to your, uh, to your success and to what you did for all those years, and you deserve that. Uh, that honor. So Peter, this is a toast to you, to your success, to your talent, and to our friendship. All the best. Where have you been all my life? You're, you're within view of my house? I can see my house from here. Right? No, I can see your house from here. That, that's the scary part. Like that. Look at the telescope out later. You're like within visual distance of your home. I'm within visual distance of where I've lived for 30 years. And what does it mean to be here in this place What's the meaning of finding a great meal that's served by people that care in a place that's, that Henry Hudson came to 400 years ago? Good evening, I'm David Burke. I'm truly honored to be part of this event tonight, Peter. As a chef, I think Peter's greatest quality is his, uh, uh, his, well, his talent, his camaraderie. He's, he showed a lot of chefs that you can, you can compete and not be in the heart of a city. 
and you can still get the recognition, the clientele, do the type of food that is being done in the best culinary cities in America. Oh, there we go. I'd like to say, Peter, congratulations. And uh, I admire you. I admire your hard work, your ethic. I, I admire our friendship, and I'm thankful for it. And, uh, and everything you've done for the community, for the restaurant industry, for your family, and, uh, and what we do together for our charities. And this is a well-deserved award for all of you out there. You've got a great man in front of you, and I want to congratulate you for bottom of my heart and the top of my glass and I want to congratulate the other honorees and say uh, uh, cheers to the magazines that are able to do these things and recognize truly great talent. Have a great night. Thank you.